Hi, my name is Sarah Ellie Giefer, and this story is about a book belonging to my family, our own personal encyclopedia of Giefers. The book is called The Giefer Family in Germany and the United States. It is two volumes, 700 pages, and has information in it on hundreds, if not thousands, of my ancestors. It's a history of my family, not just our genealogy, but our stories. So, where did the book come from? It was written by Tracy Giefer Fellerman, though she didn't initially set out to write anything like this when she first started the project. In 1976, she went to Germany to learn more about her family history. When she was visiting Germany, she got stranded in the, in the middle of the night at a bus stop. A random passerby tried to help her, but as she spoke only English and he spoke only German, there was not much for them to do, and the only thing he understood was her name, Giefer. So he went to a payphone and called up a local Giefer he knew to come pick her up. That random Giefer not only spoke English and was willing to give her a bed for the night, but she ended up being a distant relative of Tracy's. The house Tracy was staying in had belonged to her great-great-grandfather, Wilhelm Giefer, who built the house himself in 1830. After that fateful trip to Germany, Tracy Giefer's project exploded, and 30 years later, it was finished enough for her to publish it. So, what all is in here? Well, most of the pages look like this. At the top is the father of a lineage. The further back the time he is, the more space is generally dedicated to him. In this case, Ludwig gets that whole top paragraph and a couple pictures for his story, along with a picture of himself and his wife Gertrude. Ludwig here is my great, great, great grandfather, and the brother of the man who built the house Tracy stayed in that night in Germany. Next on the page are his children, listed in the order they were born, along with their birth and death dates and a few fun facts about them. His firstborn son JJ is my great, great grandfather. There are also big family trees, like this one, which show a more consolidated lineage. Also in the book are traces are the resources Tracy used to write it. Birth, death, and marriage records make up the majority of the sources. Thanks to these sources, Tracy was able to make maps, like these ones, which show the growth of the Giefers after they immigrated to the United States. These couple maps show where the Giefers were living in 1860, 1900, and 1920, for example and how a balloon is spread out. This picture is of the death certificate of Johannes Giefer, the common ancestor of every one of these hundreds of Giefers in this book. He was born around 1720, and it's thanks to this book that I can trace 10 generations to myself, Sarah Elizabeth Giefer, born 1993. This is my page. While all the pictures in this video are of my grandpa's personal copy of the book, this book of the history of the Giefer family is actually available for Giefers and non-Giefers alike to read any time thanks to the Minnesota Historical Society who have a copy of it for anyone interested.